Montenegro is a small Mediterranean country with rich architectural and cultural heritage, diversity of landscapes and climates, and well-preserved natural environment. Naturally well suited for development of all kinds of tourism, Montenegro is focused on becoming an elite tourist destination. Montenegro is considered one of the fastest growing tourist destinations. In 2007, over a million tourists visited Montenegro, making some 7.3 million overnight stays. This accounted for some 480 million euros in tourism revenue in 2007. Advantages and disadvantages Almost all economic activities in Montenegro are directed towards facilitating the development of tourism. The government aims to attract greenfield investments, which should make best use of undeveloped parts of the coast, such as Jazz Beach, Belka Pla Three Quarters, Adabajana, and Buljarica. Such investments could potentially reshape the appeal of Montenegro to tourists, making it a highly competitive destination for sustainable quality tourism. Montenegro can be presented as a destination offering a variety of attractions and all year tourism is possible by publicizing its varied features. Therefore, the tourism master plan of Montenegro is also paving the way for a national development program for nature-based tourism, especially hiking and biking, with new infrastructure and services. The realization of a three-year program was started in 2007. The biggest problem of Montenegrin tourism is inadequate infrastructure, most notably the obsolete road network and difficulties with water and electricity supply in the coastal area. For that reason, a main investment of the government is building new roads and reconstruction of the current road infrastructure. Main points of interest. Equals North Coast Region equals, this notable coastal region is of primary interest to tourists in Montenegro. The Montenegrin Adriatic coast is 295 kilometers long, with 72 kilometers of beaches, and with many well-preserved ancient old towns. The main attractions along the north coast are, the old town of Herkeg Novi, the old town of Kota, listed with UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Boca Kotorska, with the ancient small town of Pirast, Porta Montenegro, luxury yacht marina in Tivat, the old town of Budva, a well-preserved old town, Sveti Stefan, a small island hamlet turned into a luxury hotel, town Petrovac near Budva. Equals South Coast Region equals, the South Coast Region of Montenegro is considered one of the great new discoveries among world tourists. In January 2010, the New York Times ranked the ULCINJ South Coast Region of Montenegro, including Velika Plaza, Ada Bajana, and the Hotel Meditron of ULCINJ, as among the top 31 places to go in 2010 as part of a worldwide ranking of tourism destinations. 1. The South Coast region, centered in ULCINJ, is popular in part due to the Blue Flag Beach sandy beaches, eco-adventure activities, ancient fortress cities, and vibrant nightlife. These destinations include the old town of ULCINJ with its prominent battlements and cyclopean walls, bustling nightlife and seaside strand, and home of the Montenegro's longest pristine beach, Belka Plaza. The old town of Bar, Montenegro with its living museum at Stari Bar. Ada Bajana at the very south of Montenegro's coastline, with its famed daily fresh catch featured at the area's seafood riverside restaurant 16 kilometers from ULCINJ. The vast water body and wildlife reserve Skodar Lake at ULCINJ's Salt Flats, one of the largest nesting places on the European continent for migratory birds. The Pebble Beach and massive olive groves at Valdenos. Closest city ULCINJ. The beach, sea caves and pine resin in the air at ULCINJ's Ladies Beach, that for generations locals have known promise cures for infertility and other ailments. The only deep water harbor and commercial port in Montenegro, at Bar. Beaches, fortresses, and villages on Skodar Lake. Equals Northern Region equals, the Northern Region is the center of Montenegrin mountain tourism. It is ski resorts, and is popular for its untouched nature. The entire area of Dermata Mountain and the Tara River Canyon is protected as a national park, and listed with UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Destinations in the north are, the town of Angstrom 1 half ABLJAK on the Dermata Mountain, 
the most popular mountain tourism destination in Montenegro, the town of Kulayin, another popular destination, near the Biogradska Gora National Park, the Bjelesica Mountain and the ski resort Bjelesica, the Tara River Gorge, the second deepest canyon in the world. Tara River is a popular rafting destination. Biogradska Gora, with Biogradsko Lake, a national park and untouched virgin forest. Equals Central Region equals, although it is the most densely populated area of Montenegro, the central region has fewer tourist attractions. Notable are, Ostrog Monastery, a famous pilgrimage site, archaeological remains of Dukljea from Roman times outside Pajorica, Satinj, the historic capital of Montenegro, Mount Lovien, the National Park and Patatu Petrovia Njegoas Mausoleum afford breathtaking views of the surrounding country. Beaches The length of coastline of Montenegro is 293 km. It is 73 km of beaches, there are over 120 such beaches. There are varying beach styles from sand to pebbles of differing lengths. ULCINJ The coastline of ULCINJ is 32 km long. It is more than 10 beaches. Adabajana is a river island. It is a triangle shape with sea from one side. The beach is sandy and long. Belica Plaza is the longest beach in Montenegro, one of the warmest and most beautiful beaches on the Adriatic Sea. It is 12 km long and it is covered with sand. It is very shallow. Small city beach is the same as Belica Plaza but it is not so long. Valdinos is little cove with pebbly beach and beautiful flora around it. Bar, Bar Riviera is 44 km long and has got 9 km of beaches. There are more than 20 beaches but Bar has got two beaches on the lakeside. The most famous beach in Bar is Sutemor Beach. It's 1 km long and is covered with sand. Canj Beach is 1 km long and is a very popular location for tourists. The beach is covered with fine sand but the sea bottom is covered with round rocky pebbles. Queen's Beach is very near CANJ but it can be only approached from sea. Red Beach is specific because it is covered with reed round pebbles and view from it is outstanding. Zuklika Beach is over 1 km long and it is near the city. It is covered with white pebbles and in the background is little beautiful pine forest. Beach Uchcha is also called Olive Bay because there are hundreds of olives in the background. It is covered with pebbles and is very clear. On the lake there are two beaches, Jizakak and Murisi. They are covered with pebbles. The view from there on the Skoda Lake is amazing. Budva, Budva Riviera has over 25 beaches and they are favorite destination for tourists in Montenegro. The longest beach is Jazz. It's 2.5 kilometers long and is sandy. Mogran Beach has specific small pebbles. It consists two little beaches and they are connected with a tunnel. Slavonska Beach is 1.5 km long and is covered with sand. There are a lot of hotels, restaurants and parks in the background. The Besisli Beach is long and one of the most beautiful in the Mediterranean, it is sandy. Milosa Beach, Queens Beach and Sveti Stefan Beach are the most exclusive beaches in Montenegro because of fantastic sand. Flora and amazing view on Al Hotel Sveti Stefan. Tarovac Beach is quiet long and is covered with little red pebbles. Special attraction There are two little isles and little fortress near beach. Buljarica Beach is covered with sand and is 2 km long. Tivat, there are over 15 small beaches in Tivat. Opatavo is a 200 meters long pebble beach. Little Lighthouse divides beach in two parts. Beach Plevi Horizonte is perhaps the most famous and beautiful in Tivat. It is 300 meters long and covered with small white pebbles. There are two islands near Tivat, the island of St. Marco and Island of Flowers. They have very nice and attractive beaches. Kota, this is the deepest part of Boca Kotorska so there are fewer beaches. There are about 10 small beaches. Morinj Beach is very nice pebbly beach with beautiful background and view on bay. Rasan Beach is a quiet, long and rocky beach. Orehovic is the favorite beach in Kota. It is pebbly with old stone houses in the background. Steno is one of the most beautiful pebbly beach in Montenegro. 
It is 200 meters long with clear water and natural background. Herkegnovi, Herkegnovi Riviera is 25 kilometers long and it has over 20 beaches. Igalo Beach is 1.5 kilometers long and sandy. Rose Beach is rocky with very nice forest background. Zanjik Beach is one of the most beautiful in Herkegnovi. It is 300 meters long and it is covered with white pebbles. Tourist arrivals and overnights by municipalities. Equals 2012 equals. Equals 2011 equals. National parks in Montenegro. UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Equals tentative list equals. Sitinch Historic Core, Doklia, Old Town of Bar, Stisai, Medieval Tombstones. A Euro Unregistered Trademark by Ogrodskagora Euro Unregistered Trademark National Park. See also, Visa Policy of Montenegro, Budva Riviera, Boca Cotorska, List of National Parks of Montenegro, Porta Montenegro, Montenegro Airlines. References, Statistical Office of Montenegro, UNESCO World Heritage Center. External links, Montenegro Travel Guide from Waiki Voyage. Tourism in Montenegro at DMOZ, www.Montenegro Travel, the official tourism website of Montenegro.